In order to grow and harvest the best yields from their crops, farmers need to manage the nutrients on their farms. In Pennsylvania, this usually means writing a manure management plan to help them show when and where nutrients from manure are stored and used throughout the year. But sometimes a more advanced plan is necessary. When farmers need a more advanced plan, they hire a plan writer to put together a nutrient management plan for their farming operation, which will need to be reviewed by the County Conservation District. To help speed up the review process, plan writers should ask themselves, what is an administratively complete nutrient management plan? This short video will provide an overview of the items a reviewer will check for to determine if a plan is administratively complete. By checking these items before submitting a plan, nutrient management planners can expedite the plan review process. When a plan is submitted for review, the first thing that is done is an administrative completeness review. This review includes eight items which the reviewer will look for to determine if the plan is administratively complete before they can move forward with a technical review. The first item on the completeness list the reviewer will check is whether the required version of the Nutrient Management Plan spreadsheet has been used. The most current version of this spreadsheet can be found on Penn State Extension's page for the Pennsylvania Nutrient Management Program. It is important that planners check this website before beginning a plan to ensure that they have the most recent version of this spreadsheet. Second, the reviewer will check that all required plan sections have been included. If there are no manure importer broker agreements, it may be acceptable to leave out section 8, but it can be better to include this section and state that no manure will be exported to avoid confusion. The third item to be checked will be the planned crop years. These must be within the required date range, and the plan cannot extend beyond three crop years. Next, each section of the plan will be reviewed to ensure that they include the required information to make a technical review possible. The plan must include current soil tests. This means that tests need to be less than three years old and meet acreage requirements. Tests must also use the correct testing method. The Nutrient Management Technical Manual provides detailed information for soil testing on pages 58 and 59, part of Appendix 4. Penn State's Agronomy Guide provides information on proper soil testing, too. Manure tests must be included and be less than a year old. They also need to result from the current operation management program. For example, if significant changes were made to the feed ration recently, a manure test from six months prior will not show current conditions. Next, a plan must have complete manure equipment calibrations as noted on page 24 of the Nutrient Management Technical Manual. Penn State Extension's Agronomy Facts number 68 shows how to calibrate a manure spreader and gather the information needed. The last thing that a plan reviewer will check is if there are any issues which would stall the technical review. Although this is a bit vague on the surface, the reviewer's knowledge of the program and familiarity with the farm operation may indicate a flaw in the plan which could cause a problem in the review process and will need to be addressed before the review can move forward. Nutrient management plan writers should keep a copy of the checklist which reviewers use to determine if a plan is administratively complete. Writers can use this checklist to evaluate their plan before submitting to the County Conservation District, saving time and keeping the review process running smoothly.